Hi everyone, Alex with Beam It Up here. Today I'm going to show you how to pipe fire sprinklers in Revit MEP. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to place those sprinklers in a ceiling plan. Then we're going to bring in a pipe type from another project and finally we're going to use that pipe type to pipe our fire sprinklers. See you in Revit. So how do pipe fire sprinklers in Revit? Uh, let's go to our second floor ceiling plan and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So here we have a room. Let's, uh, let's say this is a light hazard room as per NFPA 13. So it allows me uh, 15 by 15 feet space in between sprinklers. So let's drop a, a couple of sprinklers here first. So let's go down under families. Then we scroll down to sprinklers. And actually I, I don't like this sprinklers too much so I'm gonna download a couple. So I downloaded a couple of sprinklers that I like better. And let's do here since this is a ceiling area, a acoustical ceiling tile, I'm gonna use a semi-recess a half inch orifice outlet so it's a 5.6k factor let's do this uh, let's assume the ceiling is at eight feet now I'm not gonna tag because I don't want to waste time and let's place this sprinkler here let's just eyeball it for now it's not too important uh, this probably will allow me since this is a light hazard to have only four sprinklers spaced out 14 by 14 but just for the sake of this exercise, uh, let's assume that we'll have uh, three columns of sprinklers. Let's say this one's uh, eight feet apart. And then let's say the other one is uh, 10 feet apart. And then I have this repeated down. right here and uh, let's let's put an upright sprinkler head right let's say because this this corridor here seems to be exposed to structure so this guys we're at what eight feet let's say our upright sprinkler here is at 10 feet so for now I'm gonna place it here at 10 feet right and now let's start piping and you see, I, I don't have, I'm missing a lot of my pipe types, right? Uh, however, I have another project here, this one, that has all my pipe types. So I want to I wanna bring those over to my old project. So you go here under Transfer Project Standards, and you need to make sure that you have the right link selected or the, the right project selected. So this would be the project that I want to bring things from. So for now, I'm just going to bring in the annotation and uh, I'm going to bring anything that has to do with pipes. Typically, I would bring in my my template, but for now, like my, my view templates, but for now, I think this is it. It's asking me if I want to overwrite the materials. Yes. asking me if I want to overwrite all the types that already exist in the project. I'm going to say overwrite. And then just like that, I have all my preferred pipe types in this new project. So now that we have our pipe types imported, let's uh, start piping our sprinkler system. Uh, remember that we have our pendant semi recess head at eight feet, hosted to the ce not hosted to the ceiling, but it's flush with the ceiling. And then we have the upright sprinkler at ten feet. So let's go nice midways at nine feet and see how that looks. Um, we're gonna start with a three inch pipe. Uh, let's keep it at ten feet above finished floor. 
make sure your reference level is the correct one. Remember, we're in level two, so that has to be re reference to level two. And make sure you are in the correct system, which in my case is going to be a, a wet sprinkler system. So I would like to go something like this. Let's say I'm coming out of my staircase here, and uh, I'm going to drop that to, let's say, four feet. And then eventually we will figure out what happens there. Probably a floor control assembly, a stamp pipe, whatever it is. So now let's pipe this. Um, I'm going to do a small branch. For now, I'm going to keep it at one inch so that you see what's going on. And I'm going to create a 3D view here so you can see it better. So let's create a 3D view. And uh, let's uh, hide our link temporarily in this view. Let's unload it from here. Let's put this to fine so that I can see the details. We can see how nice our, our group fittings are looking. And now I'm going to split the window with window tile. And let's start doing our branches. I'm going to create a one inch branch for now and then I'm going to resize. Notice that I have a nice uh, reducing group fitting. And now it's giving me an error because I don't have enough space to connect to the to the upright sprinkler head. So let's actually locate this sprinkler head at 11 feet. Oh, it was at 10 feet. So obviously, if my branch is at 10 feet, it was not going to be able to do it. So now. If you haven't watched the other video, which, by the way, the link is in the description, I remind you, uh, you'll see that under pipe types, if you go to the fire protection uh, routing preferences, you'll see that for small pipes from half inch to two inches, you have threaded fittings. And then from two and a half inches up to 12, you have the groove fittings. And that's why for for this pipe here, the main, you had a group fitting, and then for the smaller pipes, you ended up with a threaded fitting. Okay, so let's uh, keep going here. I'm gonna upgrade my elbow to a T, and then from my T, I'm gonna come out and connect to my other sprinkler. Let's see how that's going. I always like to keep my, my 3D view open. So it's like a monitor to see how things are connecting. So now we have our last piece of the branch. We can grab it from here from the plan view. And just connect there. Let's see how this is looking. Perfect. So let's say that um, for one sprinkler, I want to keep it a one inch, then feeding two sprinklers, I can still do it with one inch. But let's say from my third sprinkler, I, I definitely need to upgrade that to say one and a quarter. So you can easily just come here and change that to one and a quarter. And not only your T is going to change to a reducing T, but also your, your grooved Reducing T now has an outlet of one and a quarter of an inch. Remember that we have all those videos and the links are in the description to create those pipe types. You can find them right there. So that's it. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down there, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notifications. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.